All right, guys, it's Tuesday today. We're gonna be working on some unilateral work. We'll be doing some split squats. So um, we don't do these too often, but a great way to uh, develop single leg strength, but then also overall strength as well, as well as stability, um, balance, and midline strength. So we're gonna uh, do four sets here. We're going six, five, four, three. Okay, so that'll be each side. Um, so you're building up in weight, the reps are going down. Setting yourself up for the split squat. We'll go back rack position. So stepping in the bar, letting the bar rest on the, the traps. You'll take a step back and then you're gonna post one leg back here, okay? As we're going down in this split squat position here, I'm trying to get my uh, back knee close to the ground. I'm pretty evenly distributed, okay, between my front and my back foot. I'm always taking that big breath, bracing my midline. I'll unlock my, my knee and my hips. And when I go down, I'm looking for about a 90 degree angle here, hips, back knee, all that. And then I'm pushing with both legs, okay? So I'm going down 90 degrees and push. I don't want my knee to go forward here, okay? And I don't want a super big step back like that with the straight back leg. Okay, so think about that 90-90 position with the, the hips and then applying pressure with both legs as we go down and back up. So I'll do six on one side, six on my other side. I'll rack it. After that, I'm gonna superset it with a farmer's carry. So grabbing two weights, kettlebells, dumbbells, whatever, shoulders down. Belly's nice and tight. I'm standing tall and I'm going for a walk. Okay, it's a long walk. 100 meters working on that midline uh, grip strength there. As you're going through this, it's not for time, okay? Be nice and steady. Work on that stability, that balance. You don't need to run with the, the weight, okay? Uh, you're doing yourself a disservice. Come back in, take a look at the clock. Take about a 90 second rest, okay? That's when you'll go into your five reps on here. Now the farmer's carry, four, three, and then you'll be done, okay? Uh, so that'll be your, your strength portion. For our conditioning, we've got four rounds for time. It's gonna start off with some dumbbell thrusters. So you'll deadlift that, those dumbbells up, you'll jump it up to your shoulders. And we've got uh, front squat into a press overhead. Okay, so we're getting that full range of motion of hip crease below knee, and then locking those elbows out. Making sure we're trying to cover our arms over our ears, we're getting our ears past our arms there. Okay, rib cage down, nice and tight position. You'll then bring your dumbbells down to your sides here, and we've got box step over. So step it up on your box, rotating over to the other side. 12 of those. You'll drop your dumbbells down. You'll head over to a pull-up bar, and you'll get some toes to bar in. We've got 15 toes to bar, okay? Kind of a big chunk of toes bar. Some of you might be able to go unbroken. Otherwise, split that up into the sets. If you don't have that rhythm, that kipping rhythm, uh, and that compression strength, that's fine. Just get your legs up as high as you can, working on that, okay? So snapping, and then immediately back up. Otherwise, knees to chest here, okay? Maybe that starts to get really challenging or you can't get that rhythm. We can always do V-ups on the ground, all right? <laughs> After those, you're gonna go for a run, 200 meters, come back in, do the same thing again, okay? You got four rounds of that. Uh, we'll finish up with doing uh, some <laughs> arrested supermans, okay? So my hands are gonna be behind my head. I'm gonna interlock them, okay? My rib cage is down, my uh, chin is tucked here, and then I'm going into that extension and I'm holding that position. Letting that posterior chain light up. And then we'll do some Cossack squats. We'll do weighted Cossack squats if we can um, in that goblet position. So use a dumbbell, uh, kettlebell, whatever you like, but nice wide stance. As we're lunging down to one side, my focus, keep this foot flat. My knee is in line with my foot, trying to get that hip crease low and my chest is tall, all right? So I'm not leaning over like that. And that'll be your finisher.